Hello once again everyone and welcome to part two of Entrepreneurship Steps to Live By. Now in part one, I brief on the steps that you will have to always keep in mind if you want to be an entrepreneur. Now to now in this episode, I will be talking more about step three, which is fund early. Now when you think of funds, you usually think of money. Or money saved up. Now, funds. When I say fund early, I mean get money before you want to reach out to the world and start your product or your project going. Now, in entrepreneurship, money is a key, a very large key for you to become popular and also to get publicity. Now, for example, I mentioned in episode one about writers. Writers, they actually have to fund themselves. Usually, they don't start off with a lot of people helping them unless it's close friends or family. They usually have an idea and they have to get their idea sent to publishers, multiple publishers, and some, and some of the best ones, actually, you have to pay for them. Now, I know there are a lot of publishing companies out there that are free, but the best ones, you all, they're most likely going to be a fee. Now, in regular entrepreneurship, you always have to get funds. I don't care if you're rich. If you're rich, set off some money just for that. If you're not, get a job. Get, like, get a job working at McDonald's for a while. It doesn't hurt to always be safe. If you get funds early, you can be safe. And then once you become an entrepreneur, there are always taxes. There are bills to be paid, stuff to be purchased, and you're going to need money. When you're an entrepreneur, you have to have something to fall back on, no matter what. It has to be maybe a job, or someone that you know that can help you. Now, funding is very, very simple if you only take it slowly. Now, funding, you always try and start with your own money. And try to avoid loans because once you get your company, you have to pay off the loans. So if you want to take a loan, take a small one. Something that you know you can pay back as soon as possible so you don't have to owe more. Now, you usually have to try and start with your own money just to be on the safe side. And a lot of times, some entrepreneurs can go bankrupt. And we don't want that. So take a portion of your money at a time. Don't just take it all and just waste it on life. And then you end up broke and in debt. No, no, don't do that. We want it to be as safe as possible. Now, another tip is do not take loans from people you know. Because they will want that money back, no matter what. They will go to your house and bang on the door until you answer it, all just because they have to say, I want my money back. No. Try and rely on things that you know can be helpful. Or maybe don't even rely on friends. Maybe just ask like your mom or your dad or your sister or brother. Or someone you know close in your family that you can trust and they'll and you'll know that they won't be nagging you about paying you back. Now also what you need to do and this this video is almost done so stay in your seat. Please wait. Um the last thing I want to say is for funds try and get publicity also which is step four. Get publicity because 
when people see that you're trying to start something new, people get excited and they want to know more about it. So a lot of times, nice people will give money to you. You don't really have to give it back unless they want you to. But most of the times, there are nice people out there and you can't trust anyone. But if you get to know the person or if you actually build up some type of trust with the person, then they will give you money. And that's all I have to say. So thank you for tuning in to part two of Entrepreneurship Steps to Live By. And I hope you all find these steps to be as simple as possible for you to be able to become an entrepreneur. Bye.